here. The football gods have finally tossed uh, mm. you know, a little bit of something to the Bears after just so many struggles. Why are you laughing, Sean? Are, do you not, not believe in – yes? You no, are. I <laughs> – well, well you know, I'll say this. And You're I, such I, an optimistic guy. Well, I was, we love having yeah. you on, I Kevin, will say seriously. this, that I, I understand we've been down this road before, right? Yes, Chuck, there we go. There, okay. that, I, I'm <laughs> that assuming that's what that you're getting at the here. The frozen yeah. smile. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, well. right, here's why I think it's a little different. Yeah. Uh, Justin, a few years ago, was put into a terrible situation, mm -hmm. right? His coach was gone after a year. His general manager was gone after a year. Then they're rebuilding the team. In his second year, he's with a new offensive coordinator. Mitch just didn't work out. You know, I just, that didn't work out. You yeah. can go back to Kay McNown. It, it, we have had first round picks when it comes to the quarterback. This is a number one pick. This is a guy who won a Heisman. This yeah. is a guy who is, all the scouting reports you read uh, are high on him. And if you've watched him play, whether you watch highlights or you've watched some USC games, it just looks like he has it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, I, I hope he works out. Like, it, we've never had the quarterback here in Chicago for a long time. And I know he has set huge expectations on himself. He wants yeah. to play for decades, you know. He wants to be mm -hmm. one of these guys that's consistently competing for He wants to be Tom Brady. He wants to be Better Tom Brady. Tom Brady. And yeah. he's going to be chasing Patrick Mahomes while yeah. he's in the NFL doing I, his I his think time. all three of us want to cover a Super Bowl <laughs> while yes. working in Chicago. <laughs> that's in New Orleans. I love New Orleans. It's in New Orleans this year. Okay, so, so oh, speaking well, of Super Bowl. Start looking for hotels. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what about the new stadium? Yeah. Because the uh, timing of that announcement... Yeah. Right before the draft, what do you make of it? Uh, it looks awesome, and I think if you're gonna mm -hmm. unveil plans like that, you might as well go all in. It looks great. Yeah, I'm still skeptical. Mm -hmm. It was immediately met with some uh, skepticism, yeah. uh, including from Especially our governor, from Springfield, from Springfield, right. where it's really. I mean, that's really. I know fans all have opinions on this, but that's really what it's going to come down to is the politics of it all. I mean, you look at this. It looks awesome. We could have a Final Four. You create the green space uh, of what Soldier Field is now. I I'm still skeptical, and I still believe that the favorite here is the Arlington Heights property, which they own. Remember, the Bears have never owned their stadium. They've played at Wrigley. They've played right. at Soldier Field. This was the opportunity here. And everything, you go back when they did purchase that Arlington property, and we went through a list of why it made so much sense for the Bears. It yeah. still makes so much sense it for does. the Bears. And there's a place to tailgate in Arlington Heights. <laughs> I don't see a big parking lot there to no, tailgate. No, I think there'll be a But you don't have like that McCormick gorgeous place. Chicago skyline. No, you don't. I, I, look, I agree. I, I think in a perfect world they would have figured it out 20 years ago when they renovated mm. Soldier Field. And did, yeah. you know, maybe, mm -hmm. did, maybe don't put a spaceship on top of a Soldier Field. <laughs> or, or, um, put, or put a roof on a or spaceship. Or put a roof. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm two. skeptical. I think it looks great. Uh, it is a massive project mm -hmm. that is going to take a lot to get done, and it, yeah. it is a long road ahead. Mm -hmm. And uh, look, Kevin Warren spearheading it all, and the Bears have kind of operated differently under Kevin Warren's leadership. So I think he's going to continue to push for it. Um, I do think that they will end up playing in Arlington Nights. All right. Oh, still sticking with I'm that. I'm sticking okay, with we're that. We're going to okay. hold you to it. All righty. Kevin, good to see you. you. Too. And you Thank can always you. catch him on WGN Radio weekdays from 1 until 7. We're back in a moment. We're so bad. We know we're good.